Hi guys, this is Divyansh and today in this video, we are going to do the review of the Amazfit GTR smartwatch that I bought for myself. And guys, I've been using this smartwatch for about 24 days and based on that 24 days of usage, I'm putting out this review guys. So I hope you like the video and if you have not subscribed to my channel, hit the subscribe button now guys for more interesting videos like this. So let's start the review. Before starting the review guys, I would like to give you the specification overview of this smartwatch. So here it goes. This Amazfit GTR is a fitness oriented smartwatch that has a 1.39 inch AMOLED screen with a pixel density of 462 ppi. It's 36 grams in weight and has 410 mAh battery. In terms of sensor, it has all the sensors like accelerometer, light sensor, GPS, and it has all the capabilities like uh, text messaging and incoming call and other features. It's also an activity tracker and it has sleep tracking and you can set reminders and control music with this smartwatch. So guys, before starting the review, let me just give you an overview of the watch and then we'll continue. So guys, this is the watch as you can see and uh, this is uh, in front it has a 1.3 inch OLED screen uh, and the quality of the OLED screen is very good guys as you can see and you have tons and tons of watch faces you can access the watch face by holding on this uh, screen for a bit it's buggy guys sometimes it happens sometimes it does not like it happened now and you can change watch faces like this as you can see uh, the selection of watch faces on the watch is very limited but you can get watch faces from the app guys and I'll show you the app later and uh, let's uh, uh, start with the uh, let's uh, go around the physical overview on the right side of the watch as you can see guys we have two buttons and the first button is used uh, to turn or on of the watch or uh, if you're somewhere in the watch for example like this uh, you can just hit this button and it will go to the home screen and guys the second button what it use it just uh, navigates you to the uh, modes guys different uh, sports modes and uh, different training modes and uh, as you can see it navigates us through uh, this so the uh, these are the functionalities of the two buttons and the entire construction is made up of a stainless steel guys as you can see on the back we have the optical heart rate sensor and uh, the measurements that i got from this optical heart rate sensor is very good guys it's very accurate and in terms of this bands guys these are replaceable bands guys you can go to any shop and replace this bands but the quality of the bands is also very nice guys i'm what Testing the watch for almost 20 days now uh, and the quality of the bands are very good from the front guys it feels like leather but from the back it is sort of a rubberish type of a feel so it's a good combination guys and I won't complain uh, for the price guys so this uh, is the physical overview of the watch and now let's start with the review so guys let's start the review and uh, guys like my usual videos i'll divide the video uh, review between the pros and cons so you can make an informed decision so let's start with the pros the first thing that i like with this watch is the build quality guys and i have to really stress upon this fact because for the price guys for the price of 9000 rupees the build quality is amazing guys uh the outer uh, construction is made up of stainless steel guys and uh the bands are also made up of leather and combination of leather and rubber so i have to stress upon the build quality the build quality is very good guys now talking about the next thing that i like with this watch is the weight the uh, the weight of the watch is almost negligible guys although it's a big watch guys but the weight balance that Amazfit has done is very good guys uh, it never felt heavy on my hand and uh, guys it is an important part guys for a watch because you have uh, you wear your watches for hours and hours so it has to be light so that is also a thing that I like the third thing that I like with this watch is the design guys uh, for the price guys, I would say uh, the design of this watch is the best that you can get and if you uh, from the time I have purchased this watch guys, it's almost a month uh, since I've purchased this watch and uh, guys for uh, 
since that date many people have asked me what is this watch that you are wearing they have never seen something uh, like that so guys in terms of design and appeal it's a very appealing design guys it's very nice design another thing that i like with this smart watch is guys the display uh, it's a 1.3 inches uh, oled display guys and the quality of the oled display use is very good it's very sharp and the black levels are also maintained very good guys so the display that is used in this smart watch is very good guys uh, i did not have any image retention issues on the display the, uh, the uh, also a thing that i like with this smart watch guys it has a variety of selection of watch faces it has tons and tons of watch faces guys in the app uh, particularly in the watch you have some uh, but from the app you can sync uh, hundreds of watch faces as per your liking so that is also a thing that i like thank now guys coming to the sensor it's fully packed with sensor guys so in terms of sensors also i don't have any problem and the uh, the measurements that are taken from the sensors are also very good guys now again in terms of uh, the next thing that i like is the battery life guys the battery life that i get with this watch is very good guys again uh, amazfit claims of about 14 days and i could get roughly about 10 days of battery life guys but uh, do notice i'm using this watch with all the features on so you off all, uh, some of the features and then uh, the battery life should be better guys but uh, the battery life is very satisfactory uh the amount of uh, the routine how i charge this watch is guys on sundays i keep it on charge because it's holiday for all of us so i keep it on charge and uh, the charging is also very good and uh, it survives me for the entire week so that is also a thing that i like uh, and guys the next thing that i like is guys it has sleep tracking guys uh generally most of the watch in this price range does not have sleep tracking but this watch ha has sleep tracking and the uh, readings that it takes are also very accurate so this is one thing that i like with this smart watch again a thing that i like with this smart watch is the charging time uh guys the charging time of this watch is very fast uh it almost charges in an hour guys from uh so let's say if the watch is in uh, 8% or 9% battery life then it charges completely in just an hour or an hour and 15 minutes so that is also a thing that i like with this smart watch so guys these are the things that i like with this smart watch now let's about the things uh that i do not like guys uh the first thing that i do not like is the auto brightness uh, sensor on this smart watch uh generally guys uh, the auto brightness sensor on these watches should be good because uh, at night also because uh, i'm telling uh, you the uh, this con because at night also when i was wearing the watch uh, the display used to glow very bright so that hurted my eyes guys some bit so in that uh, perspective that i would say that the auto brightness calibration is not that good also i do not like uh, a thing is that uh, the cha the charger uh, the charging cable that is supplied in the box is a proprietary charger again if you uh, lose that charger you are simply not going to uh, charge this watch you have to buy another proprietary charger so that is also a thing that i do not like one thing that i uh, again do not like with this smart watch is that you cannot make calls or you cannot uh, reply to the messages from this smart watch so it's technical they are calling it smart watch but it's technically not a smart watch guys because uh, you're uh, unable to you can just cut the calls from this smart watch uh, else you cannot do anything you cannot reply to yeah. notifications you cannot accept the calls over bluetooth also and uh, all also guys regarding the app one thing that i don't like in the app is it's a very basic app guys uh, it's not uh, the de and the information that is gathered in the app is also not that useful i feel so that is also a thing that i don't like with this smart watch one of the cons uh, from this smart watch what i noticed is guys in operations i don't know uh, what type of processor uh, is this watch using uh, it's not that fluid guys so that is one thing that i don't like it's very sluggish guys and uh, 
I simply don't expect it, that type of performance from this smartwatch. So if you are a very performance uh, enthusiast that you expect uh, it to be fluid like Apple Watch or something like that, it's not that fluid guys. So in that uh, respect, I do not like this smartwatch guys it's not like that it's not usable it is usable guys but you will simply not like the experience of using this smartwatch it's very uh, sluggish guys other than these cons guys i could not encounter any con in this smartwatch uh, and uh, uh, some some cons i did some nitpicking because for the price of 9000 it offers you very much it has sleep tracking it has heart rate sensor uh, Yes, it does not has, have SPO2 and other features like that, but that's found in uh, new uh, latest smartwatch categories and this is almost three year old smartwatch. So uh, regarding that, I would not complain so much, but uh, this is, I'm satisfied with this smartwatch guys. So this was my review for this Amazfit GTR guys and uh, I hope you like my review. If you like my review, do hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel and uh, thanks for watching my video guys and i'll see you in my next video take care guys